Alrighty guys, we are here with Mass Effect. Um, when we left off, we just freed the Rachni. That's I forwarded the mission update blah, to the blah, Citadel, blah. Commander. Thank we you. got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Um... I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Why have we got duck crowd lips? This is really bugging me. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible stop to the new relay deep Shepard. inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. With now who? Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your it was accidental. Your you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Then I don't. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. Rolly, what there gave are you that serious idea? political implications here, <clears throat> Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! Yeah, you tell him, Caden. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Yeah. Friggin' brown nosing. Commander, are you all right? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Yeah, we're not on the Council, remember? Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We're out of the game for now. I need you to be there while I figure things out. You know you can count on me, or any of the crew, Commander. Come on, Caden. I can get a salute from anyone on this ship. Sometimes I need a shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you, but we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. Like it's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? Can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? It's mm -hmm. that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. That wasn't so hard, <coughs> was it? Mm -mm. I could get used to it. I guess we have some downtime to figure out what we are, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you said you wanted shore leave. Well, hello, soldier. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Caden looks like he's ready to punch someone. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. Oh, no, I don't want you. No, I don't want you either, for fuck's sake. You. And... Uh... 
gonna take you guys. We're gonna go for a jolly walk. Equalizing interior, interior pressure, pressure with exterior, with exterior atmosphere. atmosphere. Logged. The commanding the officer, officer is ashore. Is ashore. Exo, Exo Presley, Presley has the has deck. The deck. Oh, I got so disoriented After years watching of poor that economic come down performance, then. Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Oh, hello. Go punch her. Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you That's answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your mission. Uh, it's not a human. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. <coughs> Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel the now, Commander. Are. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? The Council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. In the interest of protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Um... Hmm... I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't, Don't worry, trouble. we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. We are diplomats! Kinda. Sometimes. Um, wait. Isn't there a fast travel in here? Yeah. What do you choose? Flex. Boop, boop, boop. Right, here's that hip hop. Uh, oh, hello. Who are you? Wasn't you the fan? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. Oh, My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. All right, you wouldn't well, believe what's taking. riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. 
It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. All right, where is he? <gasps> this dance! Hello, Doran. Boop, boop. Hey, I was having a great old dance there. Like funky donkey moves. No, where are you? Anderson! Oh, you look, what? you look weird out of uniform. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's Let's not gonna let that. you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's <coughs> computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Break in his office, you get to punch him. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. Oh, yeah. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's, go, let's, let's go, do let's it. Go, let's go, let's go. Let's I'll go. take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Joker! Going on vacay! Pack your bag! Uh, C sec. Hang on. What have I actually got on me right now? Because I got a couple of things. Smuggling. That one is in Edie's Gamma. I'm not going back there again. Yeah, well, we would, but Fidan killed himself. Oh, there's Nasana. Um, Bradley. 
I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nisana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary Hey, now. I spoke to you a couple of times. You didn't You wanted your request. sister dead? If people found <coughs> out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. Mm -hmm. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. Okay, I did not make that mess. Somebody left a bunch of leaves. <clears throat> Your biotics are impressive, Lieutenant. I'm surprised that humans stop using the L2 configuration with results like yours. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. Humanity will be judged by the sacrifices its people are willing to make, Lieutenant. The Turians would have kept the L2 implants. Hmm. Just stubborn that way. Matter of pride and whatnot. Stand by, short short decontamination, decontamination in progress. In progress. Beeps. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Everyone, grab a seatbelt. <laughs> Run for this vessel. Kind of just stole a ship. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let yeah. you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Awesome. So... 
of the eye loss begin. Children. Oh, hey. Commander. You probably shouldn't call me that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. Good way to yeah, solve that problem. Thing. We broke our oath to defend the Alliance so we can keep it. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? We mutinied, stole a prototype warship. If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. Mm. We're a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. They don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know. Well, I've enjoyed serving under you. Caden, you stopped being a subordinate a long time ago. Don't you think it's time to act like a... Battlefield flirting is one thing, Shepard. There are regs against fraternization. Come on, well, look at all the stuff we've done. breach of protocol <laughs> will be pretty far on the list of charges at our courts martial. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing you, and I can't stand it. And the galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I, we are important right now. And this is what will never happen again. Us. Shepard, you make me feel... human. I mean, Bunk you here tonight, out. Caden. With me. Is that an order, Commander? Caden, you make me feel like I could take on the universe. And right now, I kind of have to. <laughs> this can't change anything, Shepard. This is a good crew. The finest I've served God's with. God's sake, stop making excuses, Caden. Oh yeah, we're just in there watching him like some time crazy I've person. A woman who, uh... Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. He did in group chat. You know, I don't think I have all my stress worked out yet. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. Mm. I swear, though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. I mean, the, the, the past two days he could have had it on charge, so. I don't know why I bothered taking the headset out. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Well, Picking up some strange exactly readings from the planet's surface. Take us <coughs> down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Presley, Drop chill. us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Get yeah, and head down to the Mako. You got this. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. 
And Joker, drop us in Saren's head. We won't feel a thing. God, looks up my head. You two, keep moving inside now. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren oh, finds the conduit. Right. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Stop getting your junk banned. Sissy.
Did you find it, Stoner? Easy, shoot him once. That's over there. Drop off! Oh, for God's sake. You know, I've just realised I'm jammed. This 
display still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Nice job, amateurs. God, I just realized it sounds like I'm saying armchairs. Whew. Trade to come in. Did I come in this way? Let's find out. Hang on. Trade I come. Security room. If this is it. No, I can't go anywhere there. <clears throat> it's up there. So how do I get up there? Stairs around here, people. Aha! A rump. Come on, Open. Saren's already got Trust a head start. Me. We have to go find him before he reaches the con- Yes, got us. I get it. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to- Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped.
is watching my stream. King was starting to think that you didn't like anyone. things on the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis bars. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. <coughs> what do you think we're gonna find down here? It has to be useful if it's specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing I mean, we can depend on right does he now know the Akimo ourselves. Ourselves. No, 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 as in, does he know that that's what they are? Because, I mean, you could rattle off a bunch of chemo meds and I wouldn't know that's what they you are. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Yeah, but your beacons Looks like are broke. some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. 
the keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers there worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel the hub of the relay network. Kano, it's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. 
Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Hmm. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Where's the Citadel's Master Control Unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the Conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Hmm. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
So many races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. Let's go beat Sam. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what they're saying. The warehouse is better. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Go. into the mass relay. Hope we got enough oxygen. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation.
Please begin emergency evacuation. She just secretly does Say don't use the elevator. Don't use elevators in, in instances of. We're using an, uh, an elevator in, in the situation of a fire. Yeah. Yeah. We just go floating. It's fine. They're sealing the station! <laughs> Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! how big the Citadel really is. Dude, you wouldn't be able to. Save him, I do. There goes an elevator. Read a book.
Go. Go ahead. I can't see past you fucking guys. Freaking guys. Giving up trying to figure out which way's up and down on this place. Oh wait, there's so if he yes, we're for, we're facing upwards right now.
Saren, this was a pretty place. You trashed the joint. God, have you got no eye to, no eye for friggin' like pretty stuff? I thought it was going to be that easy. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. What, you going to throw me a party? For what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Well, that happened.
Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Oh, they won't. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Come on, Joker. Let's see a funky doodle flying in. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. Get a stick, poke him. He's dead.
Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost.
There we go. We disintegrated him. Now try and bring him back. Over, you're safe now. Where's the commander? Yep, we had the biggest bit land on our head. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot made us bring back Spectre. those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. <laughs> Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. 
The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's I think he deserves representative, it, especially since he got I'll do down everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. To you, counselors. <laughs> Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. He's a military man, and in this instance, we need a military person. Bioware needs to work. Need, really needed to work on their eyeballs for this game. I think they improved it in like two and three, but number one, you know? No, they didn't. They did it just fine in Andromeda. Mm, yeah, but there's also there's plenty of glitches in many games, dude. <laughs> that one's just one of the funnier ones. Right, guys. So, welcome back to uh, welcome back to the home screen. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that was the end of Saren. Um, yeah, so we killed him off. I think that was actually on insanity difficulty. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, in the next video, we will be um, starting on Mass Effect 2. Um, don't forget to hit the li hit like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And as always, we shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.